TS signature bass. Uh, I took delivery of this bass about three months ago and I've barely been able to put it down since I got it. It's, uh, it plays so smoothly, so easily, and has what I would refer to as piano-like clarity. Uh, this bass, I was really going for more of a modern sounding bass as opposed to the, kind of the jazz bass sound. I wanted this thing to stand out on its own. So some noticeable differences between this and the other bass. Uh, it looks a little more boutique-y, a little more custom bass. Um, we have a Mac ebony top and uh, other body woods involved. Are, there's a thin bloodwood veneer, which is hard to see, but it's there. And the core is butternut. Uh, we have a Mac ebony fretboard and a Mac ebony headstock cap. You can see this is the B style headstock design with the B logo in it. And uh, on the back, we have uh, the modern neck which is slightly different from the classic neck as opposed to it being three-piece maple. It's maple, wenge, and maple. And in addition, in the heel contour, you can see there's a, a light uh, zebra wood layer. So once again, Cliff's heels, amazing. There's a bunch of layers of wood here. It's seamless. It's beautiful. One of my favorite parts of his bases. So uh, the other substantial difference between this base and the other TS Signature is this is active as opposed to being passive. And uh, once again, Nordstrand pickups. We have a Nordstrand dual coil in the bridge position and a Nordstrand big split in the neck position. This is like a big single, but it's split coil, so it's hum canceling, which works really well with this setup. And uh, this is active, like I said before, so it's a Nordstrand preamp. Uh, we have volume, balance, uh, passive tone control, and then the EQ section is high or treble. Uh, mid, which you can push pull to get different mid frequencies, so down is a low mid, up is a high mid, and then bass. Um, also, this is an active passive option, so when you pull the volume knob up, you get the passive mode, volume knob down is active mode, and then here I have a switch for the bridge uh, pickup for either series or parallel wiring. So a lot of times when I'm in a noisy room, uh, the electricity's bad or there's neon signs behind me, I'll get a lot of buzz or interference. I just flip it into parallel mode and it's dead quiet. Um, and then same thing, we have the, uh, the playing ramp, same concept as the other bass. This is reversible, Mac Ebony on the top and Bloodwood on the bottom. And then we have uh, Hipshot uh, A-Bridge, Hipshot Ultralight Tuners. 
Uh, another major difference between this bass is it's strung from E to C as opposed to B to G. And uh, so you get this high C string, which is nice for some of the more modern stuff that I do, you know, the more fusion type stuff. And uh, I also have a hip shot detuner on the E string. So it's kind of become a popular option is to have the E to C bass with the detuner. Uh, but it's, a, it's an amazing instrument. You can get a lot of different sounds out of it. Uh, some of the sounds that I use often are the both pickups kind of full on in the middle. Uh, favoring the uh, bridge pickup a little bit. Usually I'll boost the bass and kind of turn it on to high mid. And then also uh, favoring the, the neck pickup a little bit gets you kind of a fatter sound. So a lot of tonal options within this bass between the preamp and the two pickups. Uh, but once again, this just kind of is an excellent showcase of Cliff's building abilities. And uh, between these two TS signature basses, I have a bass for pretty much every possible situation. Mm -hmm.